I'm part of oh, um, Jeff Craig Miles party. Okay. What was the last name? Craig Miles. Gotcha, Jeff. I see. And, uh, I went from uh, nine people to five, and there's two more coming. So how many do I have with you? Um, two. Of us. two? Rebuilding this kitchen has been just an absolute dream. So working here for four years um, and working on the project for about three years um, really gave me a great understanding of what works in the restaurant and what doesn't work in the restaurant. So being able to pick the equipment, where it goes, how it's going to function has really been incredible. The menu has taken quite a transformation through our rehab process. And it's got some excellent new additions from our wood-fired oven, as well as some classics that are updated a little bit to give our guests some new surprises, like our pork tenderloin and polenta. We now add a lacquered pork belly with country applesauce and fried parsnips on top. The addition of three meat signature meatballs out of our brick oven and local prawns roasted with grape tomatoes, cipollini onions, and charred Meyer lemon. We're using our wood-burning oven to expand our menu offerings to make it more than just flatbreads. It's a little bit more of sharing appetizers, allowing me and my team to be a little more creative with our menu selections that go in there, 
things like our three meat signature meatballs, our Cape Canaveral prawns that are roasted. They get a beautiful, crispy outside, and they have this wonderful smoky element from being in that oven. New Smyrna Beach clams with roasted bone marrow and crunchy sourdough crostini. It's very exciting. The omakase experience of California Grill is gonna be unlike anything that we've ever done. It is a Japanese tasting menu, 12 to 14 courses. It'll be provided nightly at our sushi counter. And omakase really means I'll leave it up to you or I'm in your hands. So we've created this progressive tasting menu that'll really guide our guests through traditional Japanese selections with a very updated modern twist. We've worked really hard on uh, creating something really artful and playful. I think our guests are gonna have a lot of fun when they get here. We have a lot of new things on the dessert menu um, this year. One of the first things that we have is our chocolate pudding cake. And that's a very luscious uh, chocolate dessert uh, made with a Belgium chocolate, a bittersweet chocolate that, that's new to California Grill this year. And we've paired that with a mint cream and the lusciousness of that cream and the chocolate pudding cake is just unbelievable. The new desserts is gonna be tough to choose a real favorite. You know, if you're a chocolate lover, you're gonna love that chocolate dessert because the balance of chocolate is just incredible. Uh, the Sunday sampler, is also equally incredible because you get so many different flavors. You're gonna get strawberry, you're gonna get traditional Coke float, and you're gonna get a popcorn sundae too. The breads, we uh, are creating uh, all new breads this, this go around. You know, we tried out several different recipes and we wanted to use something that ties into California. So we chose fresh lavender. So we have a lavender focaccia and we take that fresh lavender and we infuse that with uh, virgin olive oil. And um, that infuses into the focaccia bread. And it's just so delicious. And when, once you stop, start eating that, you cannot stop eating that one. From food to beverage to view to fireworks, I mean, this is the perfect location. It's, a, it's an experience when guests come to our restaurant. And uh, we're trying to go above and beyond for them and um, they enhance the experience, whatever we can do, and that they're going to come back to us over and over again. So, I mean, uh, it is a lifetime experience here in our restaurant. Another enhancement we have in our restaurant is actually our wine display. As our guests step off the elevators, they're being greeted by a wine display of 1600 bottles properly st uh, stored at the proper temperature and uh, it really showcases uh, what California Grill is all about. It's about wine, food and a great experience. It's just uh, amazing. I mean the transformation of this restaurant, uh, Chef Brian and myself, we stayed behind to oversee the whole process and uh, it's, it's a rebirth of this restaurant. I mean it's uh, vibrant, it's, it's fresh, it's sophisticated. Uh, the cast is really excited to come back here and, and I can't wait to open uh, the doors for the first guests to arrive. In addition to wine, uh, we're also going to be offering a nice selection of craft beers, uh, very hot right now. Um, you can pair those with uh, main courses, appetizers or desserts, they're very versatile. Uh, we're going to have a nice sake selection on our menu as well, from light sparking to cask strength. And our signature, signature selections of cocktails also, from a, a sake martini to a pisco sour, or like some of the classics, uh, like a classic sidecar. The interior designers were inspired by the panoramic views and this led to them using mid-century modern as a design aesthetic for the California Grill. So the look is really fresh and open and simple. The colors represent um, the beautiful and amazing California and Florida sunrise and sunset. So you see touches of orange and reds and yellows throughout the, throughout the restaurant. The details really show up in the simplicity of the design, but also in the color palette and the patterns. One of the most interesting uh, patterns that we've used are inspired by uh, Mary Blair, a Disney legend. She did a lot of work uh, on the mosaic and did the final art for the mosaic that's on the fourth floor. And that inspired patterns throughout the, throughout the restaurant. And specifically in the carpet, you'll see um, very specific Mary Blair references in the carpet.
one of the most interesting things that we've added here are the communal tables. Uh, this is really a guest experience where guests can sit together, talk with each other about their day. They also have one of the best views in the restaurant looking out at the Magic Kingdom. And you can also see we've incorporated that pop of color um, that fits with the mid-century modern look. One of my favorite details in this design is being able to tie Disney legend Mary Blair, who worked on the original contemporary resort in the mosaic artwork that everyone sees as they come through on the monorail. She worked on that artwork, and we're still able today to bring her artwork and the inspiration of her to this new design.